Hello everyone, this is Lady Calamere. Hail and welcome. And to all my subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. And to those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss a great video. This will be my 133rd video and it will be on the tarot card called Death. You know those scary movies? where the person doing the divination, the tower reading, pulls out the death card and you get that scary music or that all the cards are death or, you know, like the DC sniper or snipers because it was two of them. There was the dominant one and then the sub. So anyways, they left the death card Okay, that's because they don't know the meaning of the death card. It usually does not mean an actual death, usually. And even if you pull it by itself, it does not usually mean a death card. You would have to look at other cards to see if there is an actual death. But it usually does not mean an actual death. Now... It's actually usually better when it's upright than it is reversed. So, the death card actually means an ending of something. It's transformation, transitions, endings, and that every ending is a new beginning. It's change. Okay? So, it could be... Uh, more like a new phase in life. So, for instance, if you get someone who's pregnant and a death card comes up and they never had a child before, well, their life as they knew it is going to end and something new is coming. A child, having a child. If someone is single and getting married, that can be the end of a single life and now into the marriage life. It could represent someone graduating from college. Now they're no longer a student. They're actually going to be doing their skill that they earn in the real world. So, the death card is a trump card. It's a major arcana card. And it is the astrological sign of Scorpio. It is a wo fixed water sign. And the ruler of this card is... Mars, the planetary ruler, I should say, is Mars. The Hebrew letter, letter is Nun, which is the English equivalent would be the letter N. So it is the 13th card. 13, woo, Friday the 13th. Some buildings don't even have the number 13. It'll be like... 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. So, technically, there is a 13th floor, but officially, no. So, there are some people that actually have a phobia of the number 13. There is an actual phobia of that. I actually have a friend that will not go out on Friday the 13th. He is so frightened of it. So, the meaning of Nun is fish. So, that's the uh, meaning. But, if you want to look at it in another way, in more of a different way, Nun could represent the roots that grow and flourish. That's what Nun does. It's flourishes. 
So, death is not a stagnant, especially upright, is not stagnant. When it's reversed, it does start resisting change and stagnant. And some um, depict, uh, like the towel, you see right here, it depicts the letter of Tau, T-A-U. And some of them do that. They Even the Scythe is, shows the letter Tau on it. Now, death itself is the great equalizer. It's the only thing that seems fair in life, right? That everything and everyone will succumb to it. So, if you look at Tao, and I'm, I'm going to, reason why I bring that up, this, as you see right here, you see that? This is a symbol of resurrection. This is a symbol of resur resurrection. And a symbol for life. As you see, everyone is equal in death. So... I'm going to tell you that numerically, though, not just the number of the card is 13, but the numerical value is 50. So the three main animals that are usually associated with death, the lowest form of the animal is the eagle is I'm sorry the scorpion okay the scorpion it would be the lowest form the medium form would be the snake the highest form of course I don't see it here on this particular card but you'll see that an eagle is also associated with Crowley's card Right here. And of course, he has symbols to represent water. Here. And you see... Everything is symbolic here. And... The, he's wearing the cap, the crown of Osiris. Asar. The Lord of Death, but also of Resurrection. And you see the fish for the represent moon. So let's start giving credit where credit is due. And I do want to destigmatize the death card as we get into this. So here, you see this is in bad shape. The Alistair Crowley death card. The death card comes from Alistair Crowley Toth. Toth Tarot Deck, print uh, by Alistair Crowley, and painted by Lady Frida Harris. Here we have a Halloween tarot. This fun one. And this is the Halloween tarot. Not sure who the artist is. Because my card, my deck is all beat up. I mean, not the deck, but the box. 
created by Kipling West. Now I can't get the cards back in. Great. Okay, good. We have La Santa Muerte from the Tarot de la Santa Muerte. Muerte. So, Tarot de la Santa Muerte by Bebea Editores. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. This card comes from the Tarot Ceremonial Magic by Lon Milo Duquette. I know it was painted by his wife. Beautiful uh, deck. We have this death card by the Sugar Skull Tarot deck by David A. Ross, illustrated by Carolina Martinez. It's very important for me to give credit where credit is due. We have oh, Mr. Shadow. Shadow's with us today. He's going to be our reader today. Right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> death. The Gothic this death card. It, oh, God. Everything is getting messed up. I'm sorry, baby. By the Gothic Tarot. Illustrated by Joseph Vargo. We have this nice dark card. The Goetia Tarot in Darkness. A deck by Fabio Listrani. Oasia Tarot in Darkness. Oh, sorry. And last but not least, we have this card, of course, Death, which is Endings, the Compass. Guide to the Quest Tarot by Joseph Ernest Martin. And all these can be found on eBay or Amazon or your local occult shop. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So this is this card is going to make way for the new. So if you get it up like this and to look at, to see if it's going to be bad, its ill effects are strengthened by fire cards. The um, Usually those are wands to represent fire. But some decks have it the other way as swords to represent fire. But it's usually wands. So fire. Now, like... If I see the sun upright with it, I'm going to say it's going to be a positive change. If the sun is upside down. So, the sun is a very bright card. But as we know, the greater the brightness, the reverse is the greater the darkness. And the greater the shade, the greater the shadow. And when the sun is up, is reverse, it's with the death, it's not a good sign. So, if I, if that could indicate a bad change or even a physical death especially if i start seeing three of one uh three, sorry, three of swords ten of swords around it along with the tower and the devil and then you know with the death card yeah that can really denote a physical death however this card itself is going to say it's going to be change. 
in the manner of business questions, it's a bad card. It's no. It Don't do it. Money loss, bad luck, bad mojo. Don't do it. Don't do it at all. So when it comes to a matter of business or something, I wouldn't do it. And here we see the lady, my lady, La Santa Muerte, here, and everything is in balance. Everything is fair. Everything, it's, she's a great equalizer. This is not a static card. This is change. And this can be unexpected change. And death as Santa Muerte, her arms are closed to no one. Her arms are closed to no one. She comes for everyone. Doesn't matter if you're a king, if you're a queen, if you're homeless, if you work at McDonald's or work on Wall Street, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what religion or color you are, it doesn't matter what creed you are, what your sexual orientation, death comes to everyone. The great equalizer. And death performs an equal and fair change. Your shadow doesn't care. So Death represents also to become unbound, to become liberated, to be free. To, it, it, it could even, if, if on the questions on like, Major life changes, yeah, there's going to be a change and you need to accept it. You need not to fight it. As you see, death is also rejuvenating. I see how it doesn't even look so scary here with this one. And you can always... Uh, check with this deck you can always check the cat's face kind of like ominous kind of scary but not too bad as you see the faces and the sign of life is here i mean you just got to read the, the symbols of everything so n no it doesn't mean evil it doesn't mean an actual death like the movies and media would like you to think no it's all about change so this can also represent initiation Initiation into another phase of life or into a coven and or a, a magical order or a lodge. Initiations. Moving to the next grade, whether in school or leaving from, say, elementary school to junior high, then from junior high to high school and then high school to college college or a trade school or even from like pre-med to med medicine medical school so from pre-med classes to medical it could represent all that it could be a wonderful change so just look around the cards around it if, if you if you are uncertain with this card that's fine look around don't let this card fool you. It has fooled a lot of people. But in alchemy, this card also explains putrefaction, which is a, a series 
of chemical changes. It's a series of changes from that develops to the final form of life. So from like seed to roots to sprout to the flowers to even, you know, growing from an embryo to an actual baby, from a baby to an adult. It represents the final form. So, like I said, this lowest form of this card is the scorpion. Then the next form is the snake. And then the highest form is the eagle. The eagle can fly free. It's the highest aspect. It's the eagle, E-A-G-L-E, -E, which represents... Uh, way above solid matter it has it, it, it it's spiritual okay it's not just mundane existence it is spiritual they say when a man ejaculates it's almost as if he dies Again, the death, it's, I don't want to get too much into that, but it doesn't mean what you hear all this time with the horror movies. Ooh, death, boom, boom, boom. No, it can also mean a necessary change so that you can thrive. So that life can live. Life can go on. For if a pond remains... Oh, there goes my cards. Stagnant. If the pond remains... Does, does not move, it becomes stagnant. And murky. And dirty. Where life cannot exist. It cannot exist. At all. It's the eternal transformation and transmutation of life of nature. I don't know how many times I can say that. Oh my God. Shadow's howling. He's a werecat. So it represents ages. And... It can mean death and destruction, but that's rarely, like I said. So it, it connects on the tree of life from Tifereth to Netzach. From Tifereth to Netzach. And What else can I say about this? With this change, you can grow, you can mature, and become the best self that you can be. But look at the other cards. If you get a bad... If... It, it could represent... An, an ending of a relationship that no longer serves you. Maybe an ending of a friendship. Maybe a, a, a death, symbolic death in that way. The ending of a, a, maybe a relationship with your family, with a relative, with a friend. The ending of a marriage. And it can, it, it, depending on the cards, it can also mean moving. 
to another location, a change where it's sort of like it can even represent like a culture shock in a way. So say if you're moving from New York to Alaska, yeah, it's going to be a culture shock. Or if you're moving from Florida to say Michigan, yeah, it's going to be a complete change. Everything's going it, to, it's going to be different. You're not going to get, uh, you know, mostly summertime. It's going to get cold. It's going to get darker earlier. It's, you know, you're going to experience temperatures that you have not felt in Florida. You know, there's parts of Florida where it, like, if it snows, it won't stick. And that rarely happens. Like when I lived in New Orleans, like when we had snow, it only stuck to the rooftops, but it didn't stick onto the ground. I was like, wow, it's snowing here. So, and it was, you know, when I moved from New York to New Orleans, it was like a culture shock. When I lived in New Orleans and had to live in Arkansas, and we actually had snow that stuck, yeah, that was a culture shock. That could represent that. That... That is a change. And I just want to just want to let you know it's not it's it's actually going to usually be better reversed than it is upside down because when it's upside down let's turn everyone upside down it's going to say you're resisting change inertia stagnant And it's not going to be a very positive experience. It could represent being bound, being stubborn, setting your ways where it's no good. You are afraid of change and therefore resistant to change. Therefore, you make every... I, I, I know someone who hated change in any way. And every time there was a change, he could not accept it. And in fact, because he could not accept it, he drank himself to death. Every time there was just a little bit of change. He would drink, 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 drink. Until he drank himself to death. Because he hated change. And every time he had to change. He would get angry. He would get self-destructive. So there are people who habitually hate change. And those are the people who will not grow. Who will not thrive. Who will not survive. Those are the people who cannot adapt. They cannot adapt. And the only way they can adapt is through addiction. And it's a horrible thing to see someone go through that. If, 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 if uh, say they, got a, they had to get a roommate, change, bad. They had to move, change, bad. Every bit of change was bad. To it affected their health, it affected their their money, it affected the psych cycle the mind to a point where all he did was drink. And he died. So remember this can represent you knew you were resisting. Or you are not leaving that bad marriage. You are not getting away from that negative friend. You are not leaving that job that's sucking the life out of you. Now, interestingly, is that once in a while it can represent something a little bit more positive. Then, it's so... You, it, 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 it could also represent that you did, ex you know, you did have a near fatal collision with that, but you escaped it. So it could uh, represent that you had nearly had a mishap. And that all depends around the cards. And I'm not going to be doing uh, 
<laughs> I know some people like to do videos on each card, but I'm only probably going to do a few cards. Again, I'm not the best tarot reader out there, but I do, I've been doing this for a long time. So, what else do I want to say about this? Reverse. It could also represent you don't see things that are fair. You don't feel it's fair. You don't like it. You are dead set, dead set against it. Do you get my meaning? Shall I go on a little bit more of the reverse and then I'll just go back into the meaning of death? I know some pe people do not read upside down, but I do because it can also mean narrowly missing a disastrous event or not getting the message or meaning of things, resisting being free and feeling caged, feeling restricted, feeling you're going nowhere, being immobilized. Could it mean, dep depending on the cards, could it mean prison? usually doesn't but I'm just saying it can uh, don't be scared if this comes up reverse I don't want you to think you're going to jail now but it, 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 it can usually mean just be immobilized unable to move forward so let's get this up shadows being the wear cat what's wrong what are you telling everyone to change okay he wants it up right now. He's trying to see. Look, he's trying to turn it up. Look. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Shadow, shadow. The psychic said we must turn all the cards right side up. You're right, shadow. I think you're very smart. So... This is telling you if it comes matter of help, it can mean addiction. So if, especially if they look healthy, it can be they're addicted to something. In matters of of emotions and the heart, uh, raw sexuality, sex, sex is death. And like I like intellectual matters, sometimes it could represent stress or because you know, stress, 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 depending on it. And that a change is welcome from this stress, a change is welcome. And you notice how it has Burkana, Burkana, the room. What? What is it, boy? You had food. Now you can use this, these cards to represent death deities, Iresh Kigal, Persephone, Santa Muerte, San La Muerte, Hades, Hades, I'm sorry, Hades, or which is, we call them Hades here. So, any of the death deities. Any of the, the Loas, the Varons, the Bawans, the Gades. 
So the your ancestors, your your the Agoon, the or the Agungun, depending on your tradition of religion, that would either be called a goon or a goon goon. And in matters, if it comes with, uh, some people feel that this is good to use for your ancestors to represent those who have gone before, to represent a a, a past child that passed away or a parent that passed away, your grandparents, on and on. You can use this card to represent your ancestors. So, if, if you really get a client that's, that's really afraid of this and they see this, tell them to fear not. You know, it's, but look at the other cards too. Because it can be a, a warning sign. So, it, 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 it's, it's, it may tell you to, you have unfinished business to 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 do your unfinished tasks to uh you know time to move on cut the cords from people places or things and don't let outworn loyalties bs or nostalgia hold you back be willing to test the waters and get out there and make a change so anyways i really hope you like this presentation if you did give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and if you do he's gonna give you a pause down <laughs> look at him he's so grumpy <laughs> he wants you shadow shadow hey He's telling everyone to please like and subscribe, to share this video with everyone who would be interested in this. And I do not have a Patreon account, so please consider do donating the money you would have given me to the redcross.org or to the Florida da disaster reliefs out there because uh, there's a lot of hurt people right now and there's over, I think, count is 101 dead already and billions of dollars in destruction there are a lot of homeless people out there so give to this to uh organizations that's going to help these people out i love money but i don't want to take your money okay so thank you so much for watching Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has given me a comment and that has liked my videos and subscribed. Thank you so much. And as always, blessed be.